hello everyone thank you for watching this video in this video i'll be talking about two data entry prediction the first one is from pie chart and the second one is from bar chart in the previous video we talk about two data entry prediction and both of the questions from is from degree based question so here i brought in terms of percentage so here the question is about uh, percentage wise distribution of employees in six different professions now total number of the employees is given so we have six professions and they are engineering teaching film making medical industry and management so if you edit then if you add all the percentage then you will get 100 percent this is just a reminder from the previous video that if it is in terms of degree then if you add everything then you will get 360 if it is in terms of percentage it will be 100 so here 100 percent is equivalent to 26,800 employees all right so let's try the first question what is the difference between the total number of employees in teaching and medical profession together all right so here teaching we have 15 percent and we have medical we have 27 percent difference we need to subtract it from where the management profession so management is 17 percent so we'll get 25 percent 25 percent so 25 percent of what 25 percent of 26800 so here 25 by 100 of means into 26800 so here 25 one times 25 four times and then if you cancel it you will get four six times 24 four seven times and zero zero so six seven zero zero that is c is the answer second one in management proficients all right so management proficients we have 17 percent all right 17 percent so we have 17 percent now from the 17 percent of what two six eight zero zero from the total now it says three four that means three by four of the numbers of the employees are female and the number of what is the number of male employees in the management profession all right so they're asking us to find the male employees so here whenever you get in terms of fraction so just remember this one the denominator represents the total number of employees in management management professions so which is four now if female is three parts that means to make it equivalent to the denominator which is four we need one more or no because 3 plus 1 will give us 4 to make it equal so just keep it 1 divided by the total so this is regarding boys and this is regarding girls all right this is just an example right actually they are not equal so here the other one all right normal method will be this way if 3 by 4 is female that means you separate with 1 1 minus 3 by 4 then if you find the LCM you'll get 4 here for 1 times is 4 minus 3 then this one will give us 1 by 4 so either way it's correct so they're asking us to find the male so 1 by 4 of the management proficiency of the employees so just do this way 1 by 4 into 17 person is this much into 26800 we have two zeros we'll cancel it for is it divisible so whenever you check whether the d number is divisible by 4 or no, then you just check the last two digits. That means 68. Is 68 divisible by 4? If you cancel it, 4. 1 times 4, 4, 7 times. Yes, it's possible. So here, 4, 1 times. 4, 6 times will give us 24 and 4, 7 times. So here, 17 into 67. So here, 17 into 67 will give us... 7, 7 times is 49, 4 in hand, 7, 1 and 7, plus 4 will give us 11, 6, 7 times 42, 4 in hand, 10 and yeah, so 9, 3, 1, 1. So 1, 1, 3, 9, 1, 1, 3, 9, do we have it? Yes, D is the answer. Next one, 25 person employees from film production proficient. So film production, we have <coughs> 19 person. Yes, 19 person. So film production, we have 19 person. All right, so 19 person of 26800 
So 25% of the employees from this in film production went on a strike. So if 25% went on a strike, that means out of 100%, 75% did not go for the strike or no? They are asking us to find the number who did not number of employees who did not participate in the strike. So it's simple as it is. So here, if 25% went on the strike, that means 75 did not go on the strike. So here, this will give us 75%. So 75% of 19% of 26800. Why are we doing this one? Because film production, regarding film production, total number of employees will get from here, from the pie chart. It says 19% from the total. So this is regarding film production, and this 75 is regarding who did not participate in the strike. So 75% in terms of fraction is 3 by 4, right? How did we get this one? 75 percent means divided by 100, 25 3 times, 25 4 times. So 3 by 4 into 19 by 100 percent means divided by 100 into 26800, 20 cancel, 20 cancel. Again, 4, 67 times. 67 times. Alright, so here, <coughs> since the unit digits are different, so you just multiply their digits unit digits then you will get the answer so i'm talking about here we have 3 into 19 into 67 to simplify this one every one of us can do it but smart approach is very important so just focus on the unit digit but this is only applicable when the options has different unit digit all right so here we have 1 9 8 3 and 6 so you just multiply just multiply why are we multiplying because we have multiplication sign if we have plus or subtraction we'll do it accordingly so here 3 9 times is 27 3 nines are 27 right so we'll take 7 7 7 times is 49 so 49 but we'll take 9 or no so 3 8 1 9 will be the answer right even if you multiply you will get 3 8 1 9 next one Question four: What is the total number of employees in engineering profession and industry industries together? So engineering and industry. So industry is thirteen percent. Engineering is nine percent. So thirteen plus nine will give us twenty-two, right? So thirteen percent plus nine percent will give us twenty-two percent of what? 26800 from the total so this will give us 22 by 100 into uh, we have 26800 two zero cancel two zero cancel now same funda same concept we have different unit digits we have seven but there's no chance of getting seven why because we have two here we have six here two eight times is 16 right two eight times is 16 so here the last one unit digit which has the option d that's the answer all right you can you can cross check it all right you can cross check it you can cross check it you'll get five eight nine six in ditching proficiency if ditching proficiency all right so ditching has um 15 percent so ditching has 15 percent all right 15 percent of two six eight zero zero employees so here two three fifth all right so here this means three fifth of the digits are not permanent that means permanent will be what permanent will be permanent will be two fifth or no because we have denominator five numerator three so to make it equal numerator and denominator we need two more in the numerator right three plus two will give us five why are we finding five because we have denominator five so two by five so 2 by 5 are permanent, right? 2 by 5 are permanent. So let's find that one because they're asking us to find what is the number of permanent teachers in the teaching profession. So 2 by 5 into 15 percent is 15 by 100 into 2, 6, 8, 0, 0 again. 2, 0, 2, 0 cancel, 5, 3 times. So do we have same options? All right, let's cross check it because we have only 2, 4 here. The rest are different. 
so if we get in terms of 4 then we have no choice we'll just multiply it but if we get other one then we'll take that one so here 2 3 to 6 all right we we will focus only the unit digits so 2 3 to 6 2 3 to 6 we have 6 6 8 there 48 so this is the answer for we're getting 48 but we'll deal with only the unit digits so the unit digits from the option which has 8 is option a so this is wrong this is wrong all right so next one next one is from bar chart so here uh, remember this one in uh, either nssp or nbc you will never get in terms of uh, in color paper question paper all right so definitely you will get in terms of black and white so here i brought in terms of color however if you happen to come across in black and white then just take it respectively right so public sector will be the first one and private sector will be the second one that's it so here we have five cities and number of employees are given here and birth city we have public sector and private sector all right so the first question is about uh all right i think it's about percentage in how many cities is the number of public sector all right public sector employs more than 10 percent of the total number of public sector so we need to find total number of public sector after finding total number of public sector we need to find 10 percent from it and we need to check which has more than that 10 percent so here public sector is um, blue in color so 550 we have delhi 225 we have chennai 125 we have Bangalore 530 and we have Kolkata 135 so here if we edit then here we have 5 one more uh, 10 and then 6 one more and then we have here 10 and then I think it's 15 yes I think it's 15 so 1 5 6 5 so this is the total which is 100% of public sector on so they're asking us to find 10 percent right 10 percent of the public sector so you always follow this way 100 percent is this one 10 percent will always give us just put a point from the right end so here five and point so one five six point five so how many cities in the number of public sector employs more than 10 percent of it so how many cities have public sector which is more than one five six point five so here is one public sector second is two and then this is less so one count three and this is less so we have three more three cities right and they are from mumbai 550 delhi 225 and bangalore 530 so three answer is three by what person question number two by what person is the number of public sector employees in chennai so public sector employees in chennai we have 125 yes 125 so we have 125 125 less than those in mumbai mumbai so we have mumbai public sector is 550 550 so this is regarding less than right so less than whenever you come across more or less than you just subtract with the numerator and denominator in numerator and just keep the then then we have mumbai right so just keep the Mumbai on the denominator. So the 10 is very important word. Whenever you see 10, then Mumbai, we have Mumbai city. After 10, that means Mumbai will be in denominator. They're asking us to find percentage for which we will multiply 100. So here, this one will give us uh, 500 minus 125 will give us 375 by 500 into 100 so 2020 zero, zero cancel 5 7 times 35 and then 5 5 times is 25 so we're getting 75 percent so c is the answer next one approximately what percentage was shared by total private sector employees among all the employees so we need to calculate private sector and then we need to find the total employees all right so total employees is uh, not given so we need to calculate again so private sector 
so private sector means the red one so we have 200 we have 25 here uh, we have 50 we have 175 and lastly we have 100 from the Kolkata so here 0 1 in hand and then 10 15 1 in hand that means here 5 so 550 is public sorry private sector and public sector is we have this is public total and this is private total so they're asking us private is what percent from the total of public and private only so let's find the total of public and private public is 1565 private is 550 divided by 5 1 in hand 1 in hand 2 in hand. so 2115 and then 550 so they're asking us to find the private sector right the private sector is 550 and then the total is 2115 into 100 approximately that means definitely will not get in terms of uh, solid number I believe we'll get in terms of decimal but let's give it a try so here uh, if you don't want to cancel it then just do it directly 550 five and 20 here then 2115 that means four digits we have four digits we can do it with two yes two five is a ten one hand two one's a two three in hand two one's a two into five two's a four here we'll get zero this one would get seven this one would get two and one then zero uh, can we go with um, six yes it's possible six mm -hmm. three in hand six one six seven eight nine six one six and six two is a twelve now here zero and then <coughs> we have one here we have zero so ten yes so point zero that's not possible so another zero will be given here then we'll get here again so yeah 26 point zero something right 26 point something so it's approximately what 26 or no so it's approximately 26 next one question number four what was the approximately ratio of the public sector employees to private sector employees in bangalore so all right bangalore we have 530 and one all right let's give it public sector employees to private sector employees in Bangalore so we have 530 and 175 so they're asking us ratio so ratio is 530 public and 175 is private so can we cancel by 15 yes this is possible or you can just cancel it by 5 5 1 times 0 5 6 times 5 3 times 15 and then 5 5 times is 25 so they're asking us approximately right so this is uh, 106 35 so 35 one times and 35 three times will be 105 but that's nearing to 106 or no so we can do this way because in the question they clearly mention approximately so we're getting three to one so this is the answer last question which of the following cities have private sector employees less than 10 percent of mumbai's public sector employees so mumbai's public sector is mumbai public sector is 550 550 all right so here we have public sector for mumbai is 550 but 10 percent right we need to find 10 percent so if we assume this is 100 percent which is equal to 550 as I've mentioned earlier to find 10 percent just put a point that means 55.0 is 55 so which of the following cities have private sector less than so private sector which is less than 55 how many cities are there so less than 55 so Mumbai it's not possible Delhi yes Jinnah yes one city is not possible not possible so less than 55 right so Delhi and Jinnah or not so the answer is uh, do we have the options yes Delhi and Chennai that's the answer so yeah that's all for today and yeah thank you for watching I'll see you in the next video